What's up YouTube, Voltron00x here with a quick first impressions of the Remix Mini PC. So just real quick background on this, this is a, uh, as of right now, a Kickstarter only product. Uh, just shipped out to backers a few weeks ago. I actually just got mine uh, earlier in the week. They did do two versions. Uh, one had, I believe, one gig of RAM and eight gigs of storage for $20 uh, was the early bird price. And then for $40, they have the uh, two, gig, two gigs of RAM, uh, 16 gigs of storage, which is uh, ultimately the one that I ended up getting. Um, this is a pretty low-end system, as you might imagine, for the price. I believe the retail is going to be $69.99. When it does release at retail, it's not available right now. It has an all-winner 64-bit, uh, four-core um, A53 CPU, so it's an ARM CPU. Uh, and then it has the Mali 400 uh, GPU. Um, so, yeah, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of EMMC, and then a micro SD card slot uh, up to 128 gigabytes. So I'll do a full review of this. Uh, just want to do my quick first impression. So um, this is the rear of the device. You can see it has the... Uh, Pretty much all the inputs on the back. Let me get this out of the way. Two USBs, Ethernet, which is great. HDMI, micro SD power. Um, and I mean, it's you can see how small it is. It's tiny. So I tested actually quite a bit tonight in a couple hours. And so a couple things about the setup process. Uh, the setup process itself could have gone a little bit smoother. Uh, the initial setup, I tried it upstairs. For some reason, it wasn't detecting the HDMI through my surround um, system, so through the receiver. So I brought it downstairs, hooked it up direct to the TV. Uh, it worked fine. There was an initial update. That was a little wonky. Um, the screen cut out a few times while it was doing the update. And at one point, I actually wasn't sure if it had crashed or if it was still working. It popped the display back in, said it had to run an update that ran fine. And then it cut the display out. And eventually I gave up and just pulled the power, powered it back on. It finished the update and it was fine. Uh, past that, everything was relatively smooth sailing. Um, the actual OS itself is basically a hybrid between Chrome OS and Android. If you've used Windows or OS X and an Android phone or tablet, you'll be instantly familiar with everything that they've done. And I have to say the implementation of Remix OS here is really, really good. And I'll talk about that more in the full review, but um, for the price point, you're really getting what feels like uh, the marriage between Chrome OS and Android. You can resize apps and run multiple apps. Um, it feels like a desktop system, but it has all the Android interactions and programs that you're familiar with. Uh, so that's uh, pretty impressive for uh, what was on Kickstarter, $40 plus $15 shipping. In terms of uh, video streaming, uh, YouTube works perfectly at 1080p and uh, Amazon's instant video works fine. Uh, you can download the Amazon apps directly through Amazon. Uh, just go to downloads, load up the APK, and it works fine. Netflix and uh, HBO Go don't actually, the apps work, but they don't actually stream any video. Uh, the Netflix one, I know there's a bug report in, and they're expecting a patch very shortly. I'm not sure about HBO. Uh, but I'd expect that they're going to fix those things. Uh, but right now, YouTube works great, and um, Amazon Instant Video works uh, very, very well. So. Uh, I have no reason to believe they won't fix those other ones. And once they do, it's going to be a pretty nice uh, media streaming box for, for those services. The Chrome browser works very well. Um, the Octane score is only like 2,500, but in actual use, it feels faster than that. I tried the Google productivity apps, um, specifically Sheets and Docs. Um, some slowness loading up, some of the more complex ones, but other than that, it seemed to work okay. Um, drop the drive app, Google drive app did not work very well. I couldn't get files to, uh, I could open them, but I couldn't get the dialog box to prompt to download. So that's a problem. Uh, but I could just access it through the website. So it's not really a huge problem, um, to be honest. Uh, so what was I downloading from drive? Uh, I was downloading some ROMs. So I tried out, um, NES, SNES and Game Boy Advance emulation. And, uh, those worked. Uh, pretty well. There's an issue with the screen size for some reason. So the um, emulation programs that I was running anyway 
didn't size right on the screen and I couldn't figure out how to resize them. Fortunately, I had uh, plugged in an Xbox wired controller and can navigate the menus with that. And uh, the actual ROMs themselves, once loaded, all worked great and uh, auto detected the controller. I mean, it was it was awesome. So um, you know, if you want a really cheap Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance machine, I don't think it's gonna be able to push anything more modern than that. Uh, but it did a great job with those. Uh, so I was very, very happy to see that. And with the uh, micro SD card slot up to 128 gigs, you can really, you know, load that thing up with um, music and movies and ROMs, etc. But yeah, emulation worked worked well. Also, uh, Minecraft, so pocket edition of Minecraft, I did uh, drop the uh, render distance down one and then change the graphics to fast or turn, I guess, turn fancy off it is in the pocket edition. Once I did that, though, it actually it ran pretty well, uh, better than I expected. So, and, and uh, now that they've got the controller support added, it auto-detected the uh, 360 controller, and I, I mean, that that was pretty cool, too. So I was, I was pretty happy to see that. Um, let my son play that tomorrow. So um, good news there. Again, for $40, I, I can't say I was actually expecting that to work. Um, the only uh, app so far I tried that just did not work at all was NBA Jam. Uh, it loads up and then crashes out. So I'm not sure what's causing that. But I have a lot more uh, apps to try. I did get the Humble Bundle app. Um, that's wor That works fine. I am going to install a bunch of games from there. I've got like tons of Android games because of all those bundles. So I'll try some of those out uh, and you know quite a bit more uh, testing to do before I write up a final review. But I did just want to give kind of my first impressions of this um, out of the box. Even when at the full retail of $69.99, to me, this seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, it's got pretty good wireless speed. It's got Ethernet. It's got two USB ports and Bluetooth, uh, so you can hook up multiple devices to this with no problem. Um, and uh, it, 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 the OS is, it, I, it's still early. They're, I think, before retail going to continue to refine it, but it's pretty impressive. If you know um, Android and you want to use Android apps on a desktop, I think this is probably the best way I've seen so far to do that. So, you know, performance-wise, keep your expectations in check. You, you can resize and multitask in this, but the system can only do uh, so much in terms of its, its power. It just doesn't have a lot of horsepower. But uh, for what it is and the cost that it is, uh, you know, $40 is the price of like a streaming stick. And this does so much more than you would get out of one of those devices. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. So four of you to come, uh, but uh, first impressions of, of this device are very positive. So stay tuned both here and at Voltron00x.com for more details on this uh, over the next week. Uh, again, this has been Voltron00x looking at the uh, Remix PC uh, coming soon to retail for $69.99. Uh, as always, if you like this video, uh, thumbs up, uh, sharing, subscribing are always appreciated and do uh, appreciate that support. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.